Uh, so I have a Librem 5 final edition here. This is the Librem 5 Evergreen. I haven't opened this up yet. So let's take a look together, shall we? <laughs> uh, yeah, this this should be interesting. All right. Purism. Librem 5 Quick Start Guide. Now, I have opened up... Uh, I've unboxed multiple Librem 5s at this point. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything different here. It does have headphones, which I don't believe the previous version came with. <clears throat> Again, it goes through the initial setup process, text input. Yep, yep, yep. Very, uh, uh, rather basic, but uh, often required little uh, manual. That's good. What do we got here? Did not have one of these last time. It is your patience and support that got us to this momentous day. Thank you, Todd. Ah, nice. That's Todd, uh, the CEO of the company. Boom. What else we got? We got the device itself. Now, uh, this is in a little bag here. I like the, the quality of that bag is actually, like, surprising. It's like soft touch uh soft touch plastic uh oh what is that there's like dirt under the screen protector that was already applied uh can you see that those little splotches that's not good um oh it says Librem 5 on the side it's never said that before can you see that i can't tell Okay, that's weird. I thought it said it wouldn't have any branding on it. Ooh. I like the back. So this is the final hardware. And uh, the back of this has a nice, uh, like a rough plastic texture. It's actually really nice. Um, let's see if we can get this open. Oh. And that looks injection molded to me. I'm not an expert, though. I don't know. Oh, and we've turned the device on here. Librem 5. We're booting up the the retail Librem 5. The screen, like, looks really nice, I think. I'm, I'm kind of bummed about the screen protector having, like, stuff under it. That's not, that's not good, man. Unlock. Bienvenue. Uh... English, U.S. Sounds good. We don't want any of that stuff. Start using. Oh, it's actually labeled the Pure OS Store now. Okay. All right. Let's 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 get on the Wi-Fi. Is that, is that going to do it? Oh, wait. Torch? Oh, cool. Oh, wow. That's very orange. Uh, okay. That's very orange. Shouldn't that be, like, white, not orange? But, I mean, that's handy to have anyway. Oh, it says undocked. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Okay. Um, so let's open up... Let's let's turn the brightness up. Uh, maybe. Hey, brightness. And there's haptics as well. I can feel, like, it vibrating when I touch the top here. So if we go to settings... Oh, let's look at the rest of what's in the box here. It's we got a USB cable. No indication of what exact kind of cable it is. Um, I don't know if it's like USB type uh, C3 or whatever it is. 3C. We got headphones in the box. That's nice. We got a charger. Come out of there. We got a charger. And what are these? Oh, adapters. So you could take the American plug, American style plug off and put the British or the European version on. Nice. Oh, and that's Purism branded as well. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's continue with the Librem 5 here. All right. We're going to. Why is there no Bluetooth icon? Oh, and there's. There's, uh. You can see there's, oh, there we go. 
the Wi-Fi module was slid off. I don't know exactly what it is, but the Librem 5, uh, I've had some issues with Wi-Fi not coming on. All right, we're connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's do a system update. We're going to do a system update. I was told when I got this that I should do a system update before I try much. Let's see. It, there's no like feedback right now. Like I would expect that it would be like, oh yeah, we're we're downloading your update, but it doesn't really say anything. And honestly, like this lineup here of uh, like pre-installed apps is pretty bare bones, if I'm being honest. Uh, it could stand to have a couple more things. I mean, you have like the basics, like a dialer and a chat and a web browser and contacts. You have a clock, document viewer, but like, where's the file manager? Like. I feel like you need a file manager, you know? Like, that's kind of a requirement. Unable to download. Oh, we probably need to refresh the repos here. Software repositories. Okay, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Pseudo apt update. Also, typing is just, like, significantly improved here. Typing is like, and everything feels a lot snappier than the last time I, I like really dug deep into Libra 5. Let's see if this works this time. I am very disappointed with the screen protector though. Like what the heck and heck? What the frickin' heck? And I honestly thought that the Libra 5 was not going to have any branding on it at all. There we go. Looks like it's doing it now. Restart and update. You would think if they were sending these review units out, they'd make sure that, like, there wasn't this kind of, like, obvious flaw. <laughs> I don't know. That, like, oof. Now, I was told that the Librem 5... Uh, this version with the latest updates to the OS uh, now supports HDMI video out. Uh, so that's going to be one of the next things that I try. Now, I have had some severe problems with power delivery on the Librem 5. Uh, like, the USB port has been, like, notoriously finicky. And uh, the first Librem 5 that I got had a major issue... Um, I plugged the uh, Librem 5 into one of my own personal chargers rather than the charger that came with the, the device. And it seemed to like just burn out the charging lanes uh, in the USB port. And so software updates have finished. Are there more? There's no more. Okay. So goodness, that is just so much more snappy than it was before. It's still not like, per, like, Triple A polish, but it's really good. Let's download Animatch because this is like a. Um, I think this is the one, two, three, four, five, six. If it's not, I don't know what it is. That looks like it worked. All right, let's go. Uh, wow, I gotta reach all the way up there for search. Search for um, Firefox. I was told that I need to get the ESR version of Firefox. Okay, it's not in the repo, apparently. Uh, let's try terminal. Pseudo apt. Oh my goodness. Typing is good, but it's still not perfect. Install. You have to be very deliberate. Firefox. Fox. Dash. ESR. So I've been told that the that Firefox ESR has a uh, responsive design for most of its uh, most of its stuff, which I'm kind of eager to try. Because Firefox actually performed better than um, the frickin' built-in uh, GNOME web. Um, but the problem was, like, when you would tap on the address bar, like, you couldn't see what you were actually typing. 
And if you would go into like the Firefox settings or anything like that, you would not be able to see. Uh, you couldn't use it. You could put it in landscape mode and you could almost use it, but like in portrait mode, it was not designed that way because it's, it's the desktop version of Firefox. So hopefully this um, has the, uh, the changes to the built-in pages that will make it so you can use this better. I mean, I am like beyond stoked at the idea of having desktop Firefox in my pocket. Like that's the most exciting idea to me. All right, launch Firefox. And we can close these other things here since we don't need them anymore. Whoops. Close. Hey, you can swipe. That's cool. Hey, that looks better, actually. That, wow. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's go to uh, a website that's optimized for mobile. So let's go to my website. Um, hello, story. Story. Wow. Story.org. Hey, and that actually works. We can scroll left and right here. Sweet. Uh, mission. It's, it's not quite perfect. Uh, and there's lots of negative space. But it's still, it's still cool. Let's read a book. Beautiful book of nursery rhymes. You can swipe through the pages here. You can, uh, if you, you can scroll. Whoops, that didn't work. It's a little touchy, but that's okay. Uh, let's try opening. Can we tap out of that? We can't tap out of it. Uh, but this has been uh, fixed. This was like, it would, I mean, it filled up the entire space. It was like the, the menu was over here like this, fully taking up the rest of the screen. So if we go to preferences, Still not the best. This is not a good user experience. Uh, if I were in charge of redesigning this, I'd put move all of these down to along the bottom of the screen in portrait mode. Um, but that's okay. I mean, you can always like uh, rotate your device. And that's a little bit better, but still not ideal. But it's usable, which is like freaking cool i am so stoked about this you guys don't even know uh okay let's try a different website let's go to youtube youtube let's play one of my videos and let's see how it works I, it feels like they moved the i i might be imagining things but it feels like they moved the volume rocker because i thought it was down here YouTube, uh, Gardner, wow, I, maybe I'd need to get used to typing on here, but it is not quite as intuitive, I'm not quite as fast typing on here, uh, let's just pick my latest one here, not quite optimized yet. Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite biased content creator, Gardner. Oh, I don't like that. I know. I know. <laughs> so So yeah. It's a little it's a little oh there we go. It's a little now finicky. The lineup of M1 powered machines is impressive. Um, I'm not going to lie and I'm not going to pretend like it's not because it is. Hobbled by uh, the fact Cool. Well, I mean, it's it's cool. It's working ish kind of almost. <laughs> uh, but I like it. This is this is nice. Let's try Animatch here. This, this game was one of the first things I tried on the Librem 5, uh, the Alpine or whatever, the, fir the first version. And it was not, uh, it didn't work super smooth, we'll just say that. Uh, let's, can we, there we go. Hey, that that's nice fluid animation. Wow, cool. We got four there. We got matched four. I was told that Animatch was made by uh, one of the Purism developers. I could be remembering this wrong, but I'm pretty sure one of the Purism developers' kids did the drawings. And 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Whoops. Level complete. Hey, you know what? That works pretty decent, I'm going to say, right now. I'm pleased with the performance, but it's not blowing me away. I'll say that. There there was a little bit of slowdown. Um, whoa, cool. With when there's lots of stuff going on, there's a little bit of slowdown, but it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's a lot. It's much improved since the last time I played in a match. That's for sure. Whoa, yeah. See, look at that slowdown. That was impressive, though. Cool. Is there no sound though? Doesn't seem like there's sound. Animated transitions. Continue after lose. Okay. Let's try one more. This is a cute game. I actually like this. It's, it's, it's cute. Boom. I'm actually really impressed. I mean, this is, that's actually, it was dropping frames, but I mean, I think that that's kind of to be expected, you know? It's still, this, I mean, the, the software is still, uh, relatively immature, I would say. It's not, done yet by any means uh but i so that's in a match uh so we're gonna quit the game here and uh we're, we'll quit youtube as well I, I wonder if having that open in the background was let's try youtube in the default browser are we doing are we what are we doing <sighs> what are you doing I, I wish you could double tap on this to switch apps but that doesn't seem to be the case pure os we don't need oh there we go all right let's see if if we can play that feels a lot more smooth but honestly firefox is is smoother with scrolling um let's try playing another one of my videos also it's rendering better uh as if it's mobile rather than like a half mobile half desktop in firefox um, let's go to Gardner Bryant. Yeah. See, look, compare this. I'm going to switch. I'll show you in editing, but this looks a heck of a lot better than it did in, in the other one. Your browser does not recognize any of the video formats available. Okay. Uh, but you can even see that we have like the mobile navigation down here. Uh, you have home and trending and library as compared to in Firefox, it didn't have that. Also, like the the search results, like kind of spilled out of the viewport to the right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, it's impressive, and the fact that you can have these, you know, desktop Firefox and uh, Epiphany browser, uh, that's really awesome. I mean, this is a fully fledged Linux computer. Now, before I end the video, I'm actually gonna plug this in to my HDMI USB C adapter. And uh, we're going to try it on the big screen in my office. Uh, so let's go do that. All right. So I have the Librem 5. I have my USB-C to HDMI a dock or dongle. I use this with my Switch when I go out and I don't want to take my Switch dock with me. Um, this has USB-C type charging here. Um, and, uh, and then I have my HDMI cable. That I'm going to plug this into the monitor with. Um, I have not tried this. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to try it. I'm actually going to connect my mouse and my keyboard to um, the Libra 5 before I even try and get the video out because, you know, it's kind of futile if to do it if I can't access, uh, like, use the device. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and go to settings. And then let's go to Bluetooth and let's hit connect MX master allow. And then you see, you can see I'm actually, hopefully you can see that I'm using the, uh, the mouse and that actually feels a lot more fluid and responsive than it did the last time. So now I'm also going to connect my keyboard here. Three, eight, two, one, six, six, enter. I'm not sure if the, it looks like it's connected. Uh, let's go just type in something.
Hmm. I don't look. It doesn't look like I can type anything, but I have a key, I have a mouse anyway. Uh, all right, so now let's close those. I might need settings actually, but I don't know if it has to be powered in order for this to work. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, but let's plug in my HDMI cable. Oh, you can see the lights on on the dock. That's good. It's a good sign, right? And then let's try changing the the uh, input on my monitor. Built in is only one showing. Hmm. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's try this one. I have this, and this has never worked on any single device for me that I've ever tried. But maybe it'll work here. Okay, let's unplug this. Let's take this HDMI cable. Let's plug this into here. This is the only other HDMI USB-C device I have. So if this doesn't work, hey, that kind of hey, that looks like it did something. You can see like there's a little icon up here. Doc, it says, "Oh my goodness, oh my goodness." Dude! Dude! Ah! Oh, that is so cool! I've got dual monitors! Alright, so the device is plugged in down here, and you can see on it, it says docked right here. Um, I don't know if it's going to focus on that or not. There you go. It says docked. So if we go up here, you can see we have uh, the screen, and this is not my this is not my desktop background screen. This I'm controlling this with the with the mouse. Uh, that is so cool. Where's my cursor? It's on the screen somewhere. Oh, right here. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little sluggish right now. Uh, probably because 1440p. Uh, can we see that? Uh, so if I go like this, I can move over and there's my cursor right there and I can move off the screen onto this one behind the camera here. That is so cool, you guys. Ah! That makes me so happy. All right. So close this. We don't need that anymore. Let's do... Uh... Oh, it's not popping up the... Wait a minute. The keyboard... I connected the keyboard. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, it says disconnected. Bluetooth. Craft keyboard. Craft keyboard. Uh... Wait, can I move this? Well, I can't really do. Oh my gosh, I can! It's uh, dude, I got it on this. I got it on the screen now. Holy Moses! Oh, and that's lib handy right there. So you can see we have uh, the Librem Five, and I have the uh, the settings window here, and I can drag it between <laughs> the Librem Five and the screen. I mean, I have multi monitor setups. But this is different and awesome, man. Like, this is awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, so let's go to devices. Let's go to displays. What what uh, resolution you showing me, bruh? Yeah, you don't need to do that. Just do 1080p. Okay. Let's just do single display. But I don't have keyboards right now. Single display DP1 and do 1080. Yeah. Oh. Eh. Eh. No. The screen is still on down here. The Lieberman 5 screen is still on. Um. Huh. So I, it's probably still in beta, <laughs> I would imagine. But this, do we have. Oh, cool. All right. So it's definitely not like full on GNOME. But we can bring up our activities panel here and we can switch between tasks. It's still rendering like a 4K image. Uh, we don't need that. And it closed it on the screen down here. Cool. Um, so we have that. Can, do I have uh, like search? Do I have typing? I don't still. Why not? Let's go to Bluetooth and then go to, uh, yeah, still a craft keyboard. Nah. Let's try Firefox. Well, I can't do anything if I don't have a keyboard. 
but I want it lodged on the screen on the Librem 5 down here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically full desktop uh, Firefox. 4K. <laughs> 2K. What I keep saying 4K. Uh, yeah, it is definitely sluggish. I don't think it's meant to do like a, a, a 1440p image, but but it's still super duper impressive. Like, you know, this is working and it's awesome. But that's all right. You get the idea. I'm using the Librem 5 to do this. This is the Librem 5 right here. Convergence. True convergence. Ooh, that's pretty slow to adapt though, isn't it? Dang. Holy moly. Man, guys, I know there's a lot of cynicism out there about the Librem 5, but I gotta say, this is impressive. I really like the Librem 5, uh, and I'm very excited about the, what the future of uh, Linux phones holds. Uh, true Linux phones, not uh, Android junk. True Linux phones. Let's unplug this and see what happens. Oh, cool. All right, it did it. Nice! I'm very stoked! Ah! If you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps the show out. Uh, you can also help us, uh, I gotta answer this phone call. Have a good one!